Hey, and welcome to the Vintage Underground channel. Uh, if you read the title, and I hope you did, because you're here, uh, Ferrari, fire, you know, I guess what's next is a you know, big engine fire and a video of a Ferrari burning to the ground. Um, uh, but it's not the case. It's not even its fault. These, uh, the two cars we're profiling today uh, were in a garage fire, along with five other cars. And um, a major bummer, all part of the same collection, uh, and just a, a major bummer of going up there and, and seeing these, uh, these cars. But in the garage uh, were a, a later um, Testarossa, a 355, a um, 308, an Alpha Duetto, a Series 1E type, and the two cars that we have today, a Series 2 330 and a Maserati Mistral. Uh, anyway, we've got these two cars and uh, we got them unloaded or we got them out of the building, out of the garage and down into our uh, transporter. And we've got them down to the shop and we just left them in the transporter over the weekend here uh, because they stink. Um, it's nasty. Uh, it's like walking around in a damp campfire. They are really stinky. The insurance company as well, the adjuster, uh, you know, just took some initial notes. They're clearly rebuildable and re repairable, but you can't get in there because they're so nasty. And um, so he wants to come back and inspect them after we get them cleaned up as well. And, and you know, for us, we, we, we've got to do our, you know, uh, basically come up with a, a scope of work and we've got to get in there and, and uh, see what uh, what needs to be done. But we, we wore we wore paint suits to even uh, deal with them and get them uh, loaded because they're so gross and that, that smell uh, gets on you and it, and it sticks. Next step is go over and we'll uh, have a look at them in the trailer first and then we'll get them unloaded and, uh, and get them outside so you can have a look at them and uh, get a better feel for uh, where we're starting on these two. So here we go. All right, we're out here with the uh, trailer and uh, where the uh, two cars are kept, at least for the weekend. Uh, we're gonna pull them out and uh, start dealing with them and getting them cleaned up. Oh, sun is shining. There's the 330. Oh, let's get some lights on in here. There we go. Okay, there we got some light we can deal with. All right, here's the, here's the Maserati. Um, I think out of all the cars, uh, the seven cars that were in there, uh, in the garage, um, this would probably came out uh, with the least amount of damage. There's a lot of soot, nasty. The windows were down on both cars, so the interiors uh, got to be a bit of a mess. But, um, but you can see up on top here, some uh, uh, blistering on the paint. Um, although not, not a lot, uh, really, and some crap that has fallen down on the car, but a lot of nasty soot and gross stuff. Uh, melted, uh, melted lights. But on the whole, not horrific. All right, here's the uh, back end of the 330. Um, now a lot of blistering on this one. So this one was, this car was right in front of the Testarossa uh, next to which the fire started. So you can see a lot of blistering in the back and a lot of blistering up uh, on the roof. And the rear glass, I don't know if you can see it, uh, is fractured, uh, it shattered the glass. So it got hot and um, it, it, amazingly, I mean, it's blistered and it's, uh, it's certainly, you know, nasty looking, but I don't see warps in the metal. I mean, it didn't move the metal. Um, the boot lid looks pretty good. Um, I mean, as far as general shape, uh, so not too bad. Interiors are dirty and nasty. I know the light in here is not great, but we'll get some shots, uh, better shots here when we get outside, um, outside the trailer. Um, but I, I left them in here for the weekend, uh, just mostly because they smell so bad. Um, 
and I didn't want them in the shop. I didn't want to smell that all day long. We'll get the trailer over to the cleaning area. We'll get them unloaded and uh, get you a little bit better look at them. All right, we got these cars out into the light so you can see them. Um, not horrible. Um, you know, these are not burnt cars in the in the sense that they had you know active burning uh, parts and pieces and stuff on fire. Uh, these have been soot and heat damaged, and that's a different thing. So. Not, not too bad here. I mean, not no warpage on the panels. They seem straight. As clearly, the paint is blown and and uh, lifted off the car. Um, there's a lot of heat penetration, and that's a concern. Right down through the bonnet, down the engine, the the paint on the engine has lifted. So there's heat has penetrated down through. What's interesting is there's not what I can see is any panel warpage, and some of these panels on these cars are alloy so not too bad I mean we got a broken rear glass on the 330 which is going to be hard to get um, and some clear as I say heat damage uh, that's going to have to uh, be really figure out how deep it goes but not horrible these are not burned cars these are cooked I think would probably be the the better way to put it so you can't deal with them the way they are. The soot is nasty. Um, it's gross. Uh, we're going to get them cleaned up. We're going to get them over here into the clean area and uh, get these things uh, desooted. And uh, the windows were down in the garage, so the interiors are full of this stuff. We get these things cleaned up so we can get to them and really assess how far we've got to go down uh, to recover them.